Welcome back to the channel. Today we travel back in time to 19th century China to revisit a hilarious yet unnerving and bloody civil war instigated by a man's thirst for power. Ever wonder what the deadliest civil war in human history was? No, it's not Game of Thrones. It's actually the Taiping Rebellion, a cataclysmic conflict that raged in China in the mid-19th century. This wasn't your typical Tuesday. We're talking about an upheaval so massive, it shook the foundations of the ancient Qing dynasty. With casualties in the millions and a landscape scarred by devastation, this rebellion was as unsettling as they come. So buckle up because we're about to dive deep into this tumultuous tale of turmoil. Our story begins with a man named Hong Shuquan, who had a dream. And no, it wasn't about winning the lottery. It was the year 1837. Hong, a Hakka Chinese, was enveloped in a vision that he believed was divine. He saw himself being appointed by God to create a new, just society. Talk about a dream job, right? Inspired by his vision Hong began to blend Christianity with Chinese religious and social ideas, a cocktail of beliefs that led to the birth of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom in 1851. Hong didn't just stop at forming a new kingdom, oh no, he went a step further and declared himself the Heavenly King. Yes, you heard it right, the brother of Jesus Christ himself. This new leader didn't just talk the talk, he walked the walk. He set out to establish a theocratic regime, instigating strict utopian social and religious reforms. So Hong sets up shop and starts shaking things up big time. Now imagine you're a peasant in 19th century China, and someone offers you a piece of the utopian pie. You'd probably grab a fork, right? Well, that's exactly what happened when Hong Xiu Quan and his Taiping forces started to roll out their radical vision. As they rapidly captured key cities including Nanjing, which then became their capital, they attracted a significant following. It was like a snowball rolling downhill, gathering more and more momentum. And let's talk about those radical social reforms they introduced. Imagine going from a life of hardship and inequality to a society which promised land redistribution, gender equality, and the abolition of private property. Even the centuries-old tradition of footbinding was to be no more. Hong Xu Quan's utopian vision was a beacon of hope in a sea of despair for many. But as the saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished. Things were looking up for our heavenly king, but not everyone was thrilled about his utopian vision. Enter the Qing Dynasty, who weren't exactly thrilled about this new kid on the block. The Qings had been running the show for a good while, and they weren't about to let some upstart heavenly kingdom steal their thunder. So they did what any self-respecting dynasty would do, they launched a full-scale military campaign to squash the rebellion. Now this wasn't a polite, excuse me, could you please stop rebelling, kind of campaign. No, this was brutal, with a capital B. Both sides were pulling no punches and the result? A devastating loss of life that made this one of the deadliest conflicts in human history. But the Qing weren't alone in this fight, they had some pretty powerful pals in their corner, western powers and regional Chinese warlords who weren't too keen on the Taipings either. Imagine being the Taipings looking around and seeing this lineup of opponents. With friends like these, who needs enemies, right? All good things must come to an end, and the Heavenly Kingdom was no exception. As the Taiping Rebellion raged on, the Heavenly Kingdom started to crumble from within. Internal conflicts began to brew, causing cracks in the utopian dream Hong Xu Quan had built. On top of that, economic problems were piling up, adding to the mounting pressure. The Qing Dynasty, relentless in their pursuit to extinguish the rebellion, kept the military pressure high. The Heavenly Kingdom, once a beacon of hope for many, was now teetering on the brink of collapse. In the year of 1864, the once mighty Nanjing, the capital of the Heavenly Kingdom, fell to the Qing forces. Trapped in the jaws of defeat, Hong Xu Quan, the self-proclaimed younger brother of Jesus Christ, chose to take his own life. The suicide of their leader was the final nail in the coffin for the Heavenly Kingdom. And just like that, the Heavenly Kingdom was no more. Now, the party's over, but the hangover's just beginning. The aftermath of the Taiping Rebellion was a scene of utter devastation. Tens of millions were gone, and the Qing Dynasty was left gasping for breath. The rebellion, despite its tragic end, sparked a flame of reform that would smolder for decades. The Qing Dynasty's days were numbered, and China was on the brink of a new era. So, next time you think you're having a rough day, 
Just remember, at least you're not in the middle of the deadliest civil war in history.